What's up, everybody? We're back, Green Valley Ranch once again. Oh man, back from my break. Uh, we were playing the 17s. I said I was gonna target the zeros as well as the 17s, and look at We left at the 14, we're back here. The zeros show it up right when we appear. Unreal, but uh, it's a 17 kind of day. I'll put the link down in the description below, but I just played another session and uh, we managed to come in. We came in with 35, we cashed out with 57. We got it up to 60, but um, everything's looking good so far. So let's go back to doing what we're doing. Let's target the 17 again. The zeros just hit, actually, you know what? Sometimes they come back to back, so we're gonna leave 50 cents on it, but actually, you know what? No, we do have a dollar up top. So we're straight hedged right now. Um, we're gonna keep this off to the side. Um, we're essentially in for profit. Uh, we have $2 plus our initial buy-in right here, $20 in the machine. Let's see if we can get something done. Come on, machine, give us a sign right away. But like I said, I'll put the link down in the description below to the uh, other session. And it's a 12, so we get the straight head hit. All right, so no back-to-back -back zeros. And as you can see, my girlfriend's number is hitting strong today, 23. Uh, and the machine only accounts for 50 spins. So we'll take a look at where she is at. 3X right here, but I do believe it's more because we've seen it at least three um, when we sat down before and it hasn't been that much longer. So, um, you know, let's forego this. Um, you know what, let's just see if we can hit that 17 again. This would be beautiful. It was about an 11 and a half minute session before, um, but it was almost a double up, so we really can't complain. A little bit shy, but um, we're gonna go for the gusto right here. We're gonna see if we can get the 17 to show up for us. Sooner than later, we're going back in. Let's see if we can make it happen with a 20. Come on, 17, line up. Line up, line up. Oh, we got a chance, too much, too far. Oh, 27, almost in the zero, so. Ooh. Would have made me a little uh, disappointed we didn't go for the zero, but fortunately for us, we don't have to suffer that fate. We are right back to even. And taking a look here, we would have missed on this, uh, where was it? So we had the 14, we would have missed on 23. So we only missed one time when we left. Oh, the zero too, so it would have been twice. That's unreal. Um, you know what? Let's keep it juiced for this one. Let's see, we're gonna keep it up there. It would be nice to get that hit. We did get it on the dollar increment before denomination. And my apologies um, in advance or after the fact if the music gets blanked out, but unfortunately it's a side effect of playing here. It's really loud and it keeps varying in volume right now. Come on, 17. That's not gonna do it. Oh, 16. Why did I have a feeling it was gonna hit in the middle dozen there? All right, so right when we show up, it's gonna start trending towards the middle dozen. That's usually what happens. Unfortunately, like I said, as an observation, it only would have uh, hit the middle twice. So let's drop this down. Let's do what we did before. It's kind of worked out for us. We're gonna bring those up to profits, and we're gonna bring those up to uh, profits, and then we're going to uh, see if we can hit that 17 in the meantime. So we'll make a dollar on the first dozen and third dozen, and then uh, 18 dollars coming back to us on that 17 if we can get the smack. Let's go. Positive vibes. Come on, 17. Twice in one day. It is the 17th too. That's why I'm targeting it. We tried on the 13th and it didn't work out. Let's see it happen again. The 17. Oh, it was so close to getting in there. 30. We'll take it. We get a nice profit. So, oh, I thought the ball was gonna fall in the 17, but went right in between. All right, 18 dollars is where we stand. We gained a dollar on that one. And let's do that again. We would be at a nice profit right here. 18 onto the uh, 14.50. 32.50 is where we'd stand. Let's see if we can get the love that we're looking for. We'll keep it. Uh, Keep the, no, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's get that. It is the 17th. We're feeling it. Let's go. We did it before it worked out. No need to hit the brakes now. We do have a slow spin transpiring. All right, let's go. 17 right here. Come on. I'm feeling it for some reason. Come on, machine. Give us the sign we need. 17. 17. Oh. That was a curb clunk right in the 13. Looks like it was gonna go in the one, and look at that. We just got smoke right there. So down to 14, just like that. It is gonna happen. Um, if we take a look here, that's the last time the 17 hit. So that's where I played, and that's where I stopped was that 14. So we jumped right in after that 23, right when the zero hit, I believe. Or right as the zero hit, that's right. All right, so let's see. Um, do we wanna keep it like this? Let's juice those up a little bit. First time doing two dollars on the dozens, one dollar on the 17. Really want to focus on that 17, but I need to get the profits when it hits those dozens. Otherwise, we're just treading water here. But I do want to try to make a run at this. Like I said before, I do have some time today, so if we can go on a nice run, I will play a bunch of sessions just targeting the 17 and we'll see how much we can make in one day. Come on, 17. Keep us in the game. Keep us. Whoa. 
Whoa, that was a weird, how did I do that? Oh, did you see the ball release there? That was one of those weird spins, you guys. Don't like seeing those. It's usually my sign that uh, irks me. Not too happy about that, but hey, it's a fact of life, right? We're playing and we are by ourselves. I did note that in the earlier session. So we are by ourselves once again. Um, do we want to keep our bets juiced? You know what? I guess we might as well, right? $2, $2, $1 in the middle. $1 on the dozens as a profit. The uh, 17 would yield us $40 up top in our balance, which would be a double up for our 20 that we reinvested. Come on, 17. Do us proper. It is the 17th. It is the 17th. It is the 17th. Oh, 22. So close, you guys. Look at that. And like I said, we're getting smacked in the middle dozen now. That's usually what happens when I start playing. If I try increasing these outside dozens per, per profits, it starts smacking the middle dozens. And it did that to us when we first showed up, so... Unfortunately, not what I hope to have happen, but I guess that is the way the cookie crumbles here. So what do we want to do? I guess we go straight hedged on it, right? And we go for it. Still put us in a good spot relative to our buy-in. It is the 17th, sticking with the theme. We are six and a half minutes in. It would be roughly half the time it took to hit it last time. Although we didn't go nearly as deep, but we started with 35, so... Unfortunately, off to another rough start. Hopefully we can recover right here with the 17 smacking. Come on, 17. We need a big bounce. That's an eight. And there we go, straight hedge, and I hit the dozens. Whenever I'm profiting, we don't hit it. Not so sure I want to, uh, I was considering rebuying here, but I'm really not so sure that I want to do that with the way that this uh, machine, that, that bounce was really odd. I have to go back and look at it, but to my eye, it looked really odd. I don't know, maybe there was a reason for the deflection in the way that it transpired, um, how it did, but you know what? Let's do this here. Come on, we're really feeling it. Let's go. Give us, deliver us a nice profit, 17. This would be massive for us, almost a triple up. Come on, 17. Come on, 17. We're hedged on the outsides. A little less, 50 cents less. Banking on that 17 hitting. One of 38. Come on, 17. Come on, 17. We need a big bounce. Not that way. Okay, we'll take a 35. But once again, when we're let, uh, hedged less, we get the hit on the outside bet, unfortunately for us. All right, so we've got 350. You know what? I guess let's go in for... Uh, we did have $2 in profit left here, so let's go in for this. Let's not lose sight. Ten, uh, typically, when you get down lower on your bankroll, we're going to go in for 10 more, so we're in for 30. Um, when you get lower on your bankroll, you tend to play a little bit differently, and that's not really the goal that I was intending to do here. I do want to try to make profits on the outside dozens, and when I get stretched down there on a $20 buy-in, it's really hard to uh, have confidence in that or put it all out there, but... Let's see if we can make it happen here. Let's go. 17 would return us a nice profit. Although we are in for 30. Come on, 17. 28, please. All right, thank you. Not for being in the zero, so we appreciate that. Machine showed us some love there. We are happy with that. But like I said, we're in for 30 right now, so... We are sitting at 14.50, which really isn't that bad. You know, the bigger the buy-in, uh, the less that um, beginning rough patch would feel or have an effect on you um, oh geez don't do it don't do it don't do it all right there we go we got it off i guess that would put us at exactly even i don't know why i wanted to do that we're in for 30 and this would put us exactly at 30 it would be quite ironic if it hits right here but unfortunately not every session is going to go our way especially when we're chasing a single number Come on, 17. Oh, we're lining up. We're lining up. We're lining up. Three, we'll take it. There's a profit, so glad we didn't uh, juice it up there. That should put us at what? 15, 50? 15 even? All right, 15 even is where we stand, so 50% through our initial buy-in. Maintaining our confidence. Looking at the statistics, 17 has hit twice. Um, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? Let's go for it. Right? Might as well. You know what? Those have done us dirty for some reason. We're losing 50 cents, I guess. I meant to do those as straight hedges, but you know what? Those have hit a lot of times whenever this setup transpires, so just in case, 2023 are going to be covered here for our bases. That'll get some uh, units back or a decent profit. If the 17 hits right here, we'll be looking really good. Come on, 17. Only takes one. Oh, 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 seven. Unfortunately. 
Thought we were gonna get the 17 there for a second, but we'll take a little loss. I think we're at 1450 if I'm not mistaken. All right, 1450 it is. That's where we stand. I'm hesitant to take those off because I think they're gonna hit when I take them off, but they're not really helping us if we don't hit. And they're actually a detriment over, over the long haul because uh, we're not hedged for them. And if we do increase our bets on the hedges, we get a, it gets pretty heavy really quick. So we gotta be mindful of where we're at. Let's continue uh, going for the 17, sticking with the theme. 11 minutes in, we're right where we were before. Last time it hit and we have the same bet set up. So machine, if you're listening to me, throw us a bone right here, hit the 17. Oh, it was gonna go, it looked like it was going in the 17. It smacks the 22. So, luckily for us, that wouldn't have helped either way, no matter what we did there. That's unfortunate, but that's the reality. Oh man, that was rough. I thought that was gonna go in the 17. So we're getting a lot of hits in the middle dozen since we showed up, we just can't get the 17 to pop. If we do get it to hit right here, we'll be looking really good. Let's juice these up. Let's get a profit on the outside, let's go up. All right, so we're gonna go two and two on the outside dozens, $1 on the 17. We do have a medium spin, it's not a slow spin. Actually, it's semi, semi-medium. We're optimistic, come on 17. Or the first or third, preferably the 17. 36, we'll take it, look at that, 13 and 24, right there. So, luckily for us, we are back to 12.50, which isn't that bad. We're 12 minutes in, maybe that's a good omen, 12s and 12. Uh, not 12 in, 12 in yet, but this spin will be. Uh, let's see here. One, one, one. Leaves us in a decent spot. We're in for 30. We'll be sitting at roughly our initial buy in. We put in 20, so we will have expended that, but we're going to get the 17 to hit for us right here. 12 minutes in, we had 12.50 left. A good omen. Let's hit that 17. Show us the love. Feel it. Come on, machine. 17. 17. We're not going to do it, but we get a 9. All right, so once again, straight hedge and we get it. Would have been ideal, more ideal to leave it at profit, but that's all right. We're going to work with it. 12.50. So we are 17.50 into our total buy-in. I feel like 17. We're going to stick with my feeling here. Let's just go with it. We did it last time. It transpired. Let's see if we can do it again. We are getting a semi-medium spin. Positive sign. We do like getting the positive signs. Positive vibes. Glass is always half full. 1-7 right here. Come on, 17. Come on, 17. Uh oh, we're lining up. We're lining up. We're lining up. No. Oh, oh. Oh, right over it. Oh, into the 7. Man, so we're missing out on all the equity from those uh, hits. And like I said, it's really ironic. Every time that I tend to hedge with them, I hit a lot. Whenever I increase them and try to make up for losses, it just smacks that middle dozen repeatedly. So unfortunately, we're not making any progress when we get those outside hits. And we're essentially putting the equity into that 17 for a later hit. Hoping it comes through for us in a big way when we need it to. Otherwise, you know what? Instinct kicking in. Why not? 50 cent loss, but if the zero hits... Be a little bit insurance. Get us right around our initial buy-in back. Minus the 10 we put in. We do have a slow spin. 17 would be beautiful right here. Let's see if we can time it. Come on, 17. Oh, we're looking good, we're looking good. Too far. Oh, all right, we'll take a six. We had the 18 and the 21 right there. We get so many numbers that are dirty um, right around our numbers that we need a lot of times, so. Lose 50 cents there, but. We're expecting it. It's gonna happen. All right. What do we do? What do we do? So we're in for 30. We hit that. We're at 44.50. It's a great spot to be. You know, let's take another 50 cent loss if it, if need be. Two units in totality. Just kind of hedging against it. I feel like just for some reason my intuition's kicking off that it's gonna hit that. Maybe I should focus on that as much as the 17 in that case. But we're sticking with the theme. We want to see the 17. We got some reprieve from the music. Come on, 17. Oh, it's a 24. We get done dirty there, so. Unfortunately, bigger bet spread. Met with resistance. 
850 is where we stand. Not the best spot to be. What do we got left here? 25, 27, so we would be down $8 on our initial buy-in. Um, what are we gonna do here? Do we abandon the zero? Do we abandon the zero? You know, let's try it one more time. See what happens here. I got a feeling the 17 is going to hit soon, so I don't know. Maybe that'll get us out of this jam. We'll be at 41. We're in for 30. Still a decent profit. You can add it to the previous ses session's profit. Come on, 17 right here. 17 over lining up. We're lining up. We're lining up. Oh, it went over into the 22. That middle dozen, I'm telling you. Unreal. Burnt once again. All right, so... Where do we stand? Five dollars up there. We're in for 30, 25 expended. I guess we gotta put our faith in that 17. We did it before. Let's do it again. What do we got left here? 36, 30, one for 30. That'll give us a profit. All right, so we can try one more time like this. Let's see if we can do it. Let's go, 17. Still gets a profit here. Not as big as we would hope for with that big of a spread. But considering the way we we're running, Hopefully we can get it. Let's go. Come on, 17. Positive vibes. Let's see it happen right here. 17. 17. Wish upon a 17. Oh, that's going to be way too much. Whoa, 31. All right. There's a hedge hit. So we're okay with that. We like hedge hits. Wish there were profits, but as you can see, we got smoked there for a little bit. So the second session hasn't been uh, going our way too much here. But it doesn't mean that can't change right here with this bet right now. Let's get it. 17. We did it before. Let's do it again. Putting our uh, all of our profit back into play. Going for more. Come on, 17 right here. Locked in. We are locked in. Let's manifest it. One times. 17. Too much. Oh, it's a 14. Man. Ooh, too bad I couldn't just scoot that over a little bit. All right. That was pretty brutal here. What do we got left? We got what? Two. We got two ones. Let's put one more in. We'll take one more crack at it. Actually, you know what? We'll take two more cracks at it because we'll use, we'll gas it a little bit here. All right. Let's repeat the last bet. Let's take that off. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, didn't mean to do that. I guess we're... Wow, this would be perfect time. Imagine this, you guys. I didn't mean to do that. We're a dollar less than our hedges on the outside bet. Five dollars, or uh, excuse me, four dollars in total. Two dollars on the first and third. Two dollars on the 17. We do have a slow spin. We get the positive vibes. This would be massive. This would be quite the uh, perfect timing mistake here. Come on. Oh, 22 again. Man, unfortunately. I think I'm going to uh, call this one off here. We actually dug $10 into our initial buy-in, so... Um, do I want to keep going? Do I want to see what's going to happen? Do I want to keep going? You know what? Let's keep it going. You know what? 20 more going in, guys. Let's go. All right, there we go. That's what we meant to do last one. Let's see what wants to transpire here. Show us the 17. Come on. We do have a super slow spin. We almost missed it, so this would be poetic. We're in for 50. Let's get a hit right here. This will put us up nicely. Come on, 17. One time. One time. And the 17. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me, guys? Look at that. Right next door. Oh, what a tease. I don't know if that's a sign. A good one or a bad one. I really thought that was going to happen right there. Man, we just could not get the bounce to go our way. Oh, that's rough. That was rough. Thought we had it. Thought we had it. Not the way the cookie crumbled for me. That would have been perfect. I mean, the $2 bet would have been massive for us if we could have hit that. But hey, we're not greedy. <sighs> All right, let's see what transpires here. But uh, send me your love, your vibes, your one times, positive vibes. Glass is always half full. I hit next to the 17. Usually that's a good sign. Let's see it hit right here. We got it juiced up again. Oh, not gonna do it. And the zero shows up for us against us. Man, this just feeling. That's not feeling like my session right now. So, unfortunately, we got the 17 right off the rip today. But it looks like we couldn't get it again. 
Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Just one time. I don't know why I'm gonna do this, but I feel like if I leave, it's gonna hit. What are we in for total? I went in for um, 30 and then 20, so 50. I believe if I'm not mistaken, right? I think I went in for, yeah, I think I'm in for 50 in total right now, so unfortunately, even if we get a hit right here with the bets being as low, we wouldn't get back, but at least we wouldn't be missing out on it. I think I am going to bail on this session, though. Um, I should have taken my original hit and ran, but hey, that's the gambling aspect. You can't control what happens, so you got to put yourself in the game to win, and unfortunately, we'll see what happens here. 17, positive vibes. we got a super slow spin. Where was this the whole time we needed? Where was this? 17. Oh, that's dirty. It's 20, you guys. Oh, man, this is just one of those sessions. Should have left with my initial profit, but hey, that, like I said, that's what happens. And I show you guys everything raw and unedited, so I could just forego showing you this right now and say, hey, look at I made all this money before in the first session, but, you know, I show you guys the reality of it, and uh, I wanted to come back. I wanted so desperately, or not desperately, but I wanted to see a, uh, another hit on that 17, keep the run going, get some positive momentum. You know, it's not gone here yet. Let's go. We're juicing it up a little bit. That's what it gets right back. But like I said, I'll show these all raw and unedited. I hope you guys appreciate that aspect. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work out every time for me. I wish it did, but it's the reality of it. Let's go, 17, come on. 17, 17, 17, 17. We're gonna need a massive bounce. That's a six. All right, so 50 cent loss. You know, I guess that's really not a bad proposition playing it like that. It's essentially like starting off at the base stakes, only um, if you were to hit it right away, you're accounting for it. If you were to go through something like 17 losses, you could increase your um, bets to 1-1 one, one, uh, one, one, and then 2 down here, or even 150. Um, you could work a system like that, and essentially what you're doing is um, juicing the equity and putting it towards your win rather than um, using it as your hedges. But um, essentially, if you don't get your hit within X amount of spins that you're willing to or go for, then it would be detrimental rather than beneficial. Let's see if we get a 17 here. We got another slow spin. I think we're about due for a 17. Come on, machine, 17. That's not gonna do it. Wow, that was a weird, that was a weird bounce. Look at this, back to back again. I should be playing for repeaters on these machines. So we got the 6-6, six, six. the last time it happened, where we got? I know it happened twice when we played last session. We were here earlier, or prior to this one. Um, 33 was close right there. All right, let's just take the $17 losses, I guess, and we'll see what happens. But like I said, kind of regretting my decision to sit down, but hey, you got to take your chances. You got to gamble it up in order to reap the rewards. I was hoping that uh, that initial hit would be a sign of good things to come, and maybe it still will be. We're not down and out yet. We still got... Uh, $1 on it right here. This would return us a healthy profit. Come on, 17. We're 23 minutes in. Don't show us the 23. That would be too weird. Oh, nine. All right, another hedge hit. Minus one, I should say. And this is where we just saved, uh, what, a dollar fifty because we got three hits on the outside dozens right now, so we're losing 50 cents on those. But if we were to get the 17, we're winning a lot more than if we left our those hedges out and then we just got a hit on the 17 at base units. So it would be beneficial if we can get the hit. But if we don't get any hits, it is going to be a little detrimental, unfortunately. But let's just see what transpires here. We're going to stay positive. I can feel the positive vibes coming through. You guys want to see the 17 just as bad as I do. Let's get it. Come on. 17, one time, show us the love, come on. 17. Don't do us dirty, give us that 17. Oh, we're good, we're gonna hit it, we're gonna hit it. Oh, that was a dirty bounce, that was a wicked dirty bounce. Into the 14, look at that, 14 is just smacking on us, I don't know why, I feel like I'm just seeing 14s in my head. How many times today, three so far since we've sat down. And I do believe this is where we sat down, was right after that zero right there, so... Whew. It's been a little brutal. What do we do? Do we continue with it? Do we go for it? Do we stop? Keep going. Alright, we need the love. Come on. We're gonna go for it. Although, you know what? When things are going like this, they usually don't turn around in my experience too often, so... I don't know, I'm kind of tossed on what to do here. We could just put our buy-in towards another session, more bubble crap, see if our luck changes over there. Come on, 17, let's hit. Oh, come on, in the five again. Oh, so painful. 
Come on. Uh, I think that's my sign right there. We're at what, 10.50? Let's go for one more. Oh man. When's the last time we saw the five right there? I think we saw it down here too. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I am. So it took quite a while for it to hit before. Um, I think we got it next door to it on a different number, but oh, it's so painful to see. A lot of times though, when I say it hits next door, it is a positive sign. So maybe we'll hit it right here. We'll see what happens. We do have a slow spin. A lot of times it does transpire on the slow spins. I would love to keep the session going. Show us a 17, come on. 17 right here. Are we lining up? It feels like we're lining up. It seems like we're, no, not lining up. Oh, that was so dirty, 19, so. Man, that's rough. All right, I think I'm gonna bail on this. Oh man, what do I do? Do I bail? What do I have? I got three more attempts at it and I'm not even looking good. I don't really like being in this position, but I guess it's, we put all our faith in it, you know? Unfortunately, this is what happens when you do something like this, but single numbers can be tough on you, you know? I, I really like them when they work out, when they reward you. A lot of times, you can go on a big chase. If you got deep pockets or a big bankroll, you can withstand a lot of it, but sometimes they disappear for a while, so hopefully this isn't one of those times. Let's see it right here. This would put us back in the game. 26 minutes in, show us a 17. Show us a 17. That's not gonna do it. That's in a zero. Come on. Oh man, I guess we're invested now, right? Is that the case? Oh, this is gonna be painful. I guess we're going in. And it sucks too because uh, I really wanted to use those outside hedges as uh, profits, but as soon as I start doing that, it really just doesn't work out a lot of the time. So let's see if we can do it here. This would get us back to, um, we wouldn't be back all the way. Let's, you know what, maybe it'll hit right here. This will actually put us above where we started. So if we can get it right here, we'll be really happy with that. Otherwise, we'll be sitting at $7. Not going to be a really good scenario, but what are you going to do? All right, let's go. 17, come on, show up for us here. 17. 17. Oh, I'm not going to get the right bounce that we need. Wow, that was almost in a 16, so we'll take it. We don't lose everything there. 33, 33 has been smacking. And uh, 33 is an interesting number. I've been trying to play 33, or I've played 33 in the past and can never get it to hit when I play, but it always seems to show up when I'm not playing it. It's a really, really interesting number. All right, we're gonna take a shot at trying to get us back here with the extra juice. We got the five twice now. We gotta get that 17 at some point. We do have a slow spin right here. We're staying consistent, persistent, all of the above. Let's go. Let's get it. 17 right here. Show us the love. Super slow spin. I'm feeling really good about this one. Come on. 17. 17. Be on our team. Oh, oh, oh. 32, you guys. Right next to it again. What is going on? How many times can I hit next to my number when I'm playing? This just happens so many times. I do believe we got 32 quite a few times, too, since we've played. Let's see if it's somewhere on the list down here. Down there, so twice on the screen since we've been playing this morning. I guess let's go for it one more time. Otherwise, we're gonna have two shots at $3 spreads. Man, we got next to it. Oh. I thought we were gonna get it right there. It looked like it was lining up. We had the slow spin. We had everything I looked for. We just cannot get the love today. This wheel's been brutal to me lately for some reason. I don't know if it's particularly when I play alone or what, but it just does not uh, show me the love in the way that you used to. Come on, do it right here, 17. We're gonna need a massive bounce, 21. Oh man, we are just getting smacked in that middle dozen, so. All right guys, I think we're gonna have to go for it here. I think we're gonna have to go uh, three and three. We're not gonna get a profit at all. We're gonna just try to get back here. So this will put us back to 39. We're into this session for 57. Everything I had, I brought 35 with me. We made 22 from our first hit. And unfortunately, we are really deep right now, so. That is the way the cookie crumbles. Let's see if we can get the love. Otherwise, we are uh, getting close to the end. Come on, 17. Come on, 17. Need a big bounce. Oh, too big. Too big. Wow, middle dozen again. We are just getting punished. 
Down to the last one, nitty gritty. I could go, I could try to really stretch it, but I mean, if we get that, we are a third of the way of where we need to be. That would be quite uh, unfortunate or tragic if it hit right there. So let's go for it. Let's put it all into play here. Last of it. We're all in. 17 would be fitting right here to save our session. It'd be a little bit more than 50% down from our total buy-in. Let's see if we can make it happen. Come on, right here, 17. The mercy spin. The mercy spin, 22. Wow, 22 showing up again. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. So it looks like I should have walked originally when I got my profit. And then uh, when I walked, I was, I think I was at 50% of my initial buy. I went in for 30, 20 initially. Then I put 30 in and I think I was at 15 and I was gonna walk then. So definitely should have walked then. Would have been the right thing to do. Unfortunately, when you chase after numbers, this is the reality of it. So we, uh, we caught our 17 once today on the 17th, way back here. And it's been almost 49, uh, I think that's 48 spins total that we went and it missed since the last time it hit. So unfortunately, didn't stretch our bankroll uh, with our win far enough to make it happen again. But that is the way it happens. Like I said, I show everything raw and unedited. Let's we'll see what happens here. This would be really painful to see it, but oh, don't do it. It's, uh, don't do it, it's lining up. It's wild. It hit, it hit, and it, and it bounced out. So I'm happy to see that. And maybe uh, since you guys are this invested with me here on the 17th, looking for the 17, I'll show you one more spin to see what happens. But um, I would go in. I'm completely out of money right now. I came in with 35. I only come in with a set amount, leave everything else at home. And uh, if I lose it, I'm done for the day. And unfortunately, like I said, really thought, I was really optimistic, thought we were going to um, make something happen there when we got that first hit. But this is the reality of roulette, and unfortunately, that is the way it goes. So let's see what happens here. Hopefully the 17 doesn't hit. We can walk away knowing that uh, we wouldn't have hit if we had extra, a little extra on us. Otherwise, it is a sad thing to see. It's happened before. Hopefully it does not happen again here. Are you kidding me? Oh, you guys, look at that. Oh, that is unfortunate. I don't know. That's a little, uh, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I uh, had the intuition that that was going to happen as soon as I ran out. Oh, that's just, uh, usually you, you ask for the cherry on the cake. That is the, uh, what, getting kicked while you're down, unfortunately. And, oh, man, that's painful to see. Super painful to see, but I guess that's why it's better to have a bigger bankroll, deeper pockets, withstand a lot of the variance and whatnot, but uh, that's three times as much as, you, as we usually buy in for, so let's see if it hits back to back. This would be even more painful. This is going to be gross if this happens, but unfortunately that's going to, uh, oh no, wow, it hit in it too and it bounced out, so. All right, I'm going to cut the pain off, the misery here, so, oh, unfortunately, rough session, rough second session, rough ending right there, and uh yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So looks like our playing 17 on the 17th, our run comes to an end, unfortunately. So in for 57, not cashing out for anything. Once again, coming at you from Green Valley Ranch. Make sure you like and subscribe. We appreciate all the support. Until next time.